What do paraprofessionals, education after high school, and lasagna have in common? Absolutely nothing. This is your Hot Dog News, starting right now. Please, Dan. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm Nick Kinder. And I'm Richard Butcher. Today, for lunch, on lines one and two will be chicken patties. Line three will be barbecue ribs with hot ham and cheese. Line four will be mini corn dogs and calzones. And line five, it's back to being closed. A happy birthday goes out to Sierra Steele and two faculty members, Mr. Potts and Mrs. Fortner. Liz, take it away with the sports. Thanks guys, let's get into sports. In baseball action, the boys opened the season with a 6-3 win against Lafayette Harrison. Roger Angeles, Christian Lopez, and Braden Compton led the offense with two hits each. Casey Henry picked up the win on the mound and Jose Valdez Sandoval earned the save. The team has another game today at home versus Clinton Prairie. Also, the girls varsity tennis team is competing against Rossville at home. The girls varsity softball team will be competing at, at Crawfordsville today as well. Good luck to all the teams. In world sports news, the Alliance of American Football has made a sudden decision to suspend operations this week. Unfortunately, the players had to pay for their own tickets home and they didn't receive any severance or reimbursement for final travel costs. Well, that's it for sports today. Now back to your hosts. On April 8th, there will be an IUK soccer workshop from 4 to 6.30 p.m. The event is open to all high school students. During the workshop, you'll be working on tech skills and passing. Then, at the end, you'll be finishing up with a scrimmage. Space for this, for this event is limited, so make sure to stop by and see Mrs. McGuire either today or tomorrow if you are interested. Paraprofessional day was yesterday, so we wanted to recognize all of our paraprofessionals -prof for all of their hard work. Lisa Johnston, and Carrie Fawcett teach life skills with Mrs. McDonald. Lisa Castle is a job coach. Adam Nichols is the ISS teacher. Christian Wirtz, Becky Hutton, and Allison Rader all go out and work in the classrooms. Last but not least, Nubia Medina is the ENL, or English as a New Language, translator. Thank you for all you guys do. The deadline to apply for the Education After High School Workshop opportunity this summer is quickly approaching as it is due in two weeks on April 12th. If you failed a class at the high school, if so, you should be attending early summer school each day from 3 to 6 p.m. Early summer school started Monday and will go through April 29th. If you have any questions, see your counselor. Tomorrow is the last day to per be able to purchase prom tickets for $20. On Monday, the price will go up to $25. Signed permission slips are required to be able to purchase prom tickets, so plan ahead. And vintage Garfield phones have been washing on the shore of a French beach for decades. For years, no one knew why. A beach, particularly a French one, isn't exactly a good place for lasagna and landline phone service, leaving much to be desired. Finally, a shipping container was found with the remains of what was left of the phones, thus being confirmed as the culprit. But the phones are still washing ashore, though I can assure you no animals were harmed. Thanks for tuning into the daily announcements. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow with even more news regarding Frankfurt High School.